Hi everybody, I am Maciekssoft and I want to show you QMF chart feature. QMF chart is a feature of a QMF, which is Query Management Facility, which is tool for a DB2 databases that allows you to view and alter the content of a DB2 databases. And one of the, its, its features is called charts. And this is allowing you to create charts, graphs, and all sorts of stuff for a DB2 data, data from a DB2 databases. And I will be showing you how to create the chart, how to edit the chart, not how to edit the DB2 database data or uh, how to make a queries on a DB2 databases using QMF because there are many videos over the internet on how to do this stuff. I will be focusing on using um, the chart feature itself, which is not that well documented. I haven't seen a videos on the internet on how to do this. So I want to show you how this works. We will need uh, obviously the proper terminal emulator because it needs to support um, GDDM graphics. Here in a quick 30 to 70, it's called, um, I think it's called host graphics and you have to enable it in a terminal emulator settings. So make sure that you are using proper terminal emulator because otherwise this feature won't work. So here is the program that I have written in Rex. Yeah, I guess the strategy database solutions sounds better than a hell world, don't you think? Obviously this isn't any sort of leaked government data. No, this is based on open source uh, information that I was able to find over the internet. So don't quote me on this data that you will see here. It's just estimations, open source data. So I go BM, designation that includes BM, weapon type uh, is gonna be, wait, weapon type is gonna be for a 10 gun, APF SDST, and uh, remarks, we don't care about it, and we want a, a caliber to be 125 to show only uh, the ammunition with 125 millimeter caliber. And here is the report. As you can see, it's already formatted and um, we get the data. Designation type, warhead caliber range, penetration value, RHA estimation for the penetration, initial operation capability or something like that and remarks. So we got tungsten, depleted uranium and this very old BM9, which is still run with almost no penetration at all. So as we want to make a chart, here we have five for chart, we press PF5. And I don't care for this um, warnings or errors or whatever is this, just press enter. And as you can see, this is the default chart that it creates. So what it does is basically auto scales the whole thing for the size of your terminal. You may use terminals of a different sizes and it will scale properly even uh, for a standard 80 by 24, it will scale it properly. And uh, here, here, as you can see, we got um, all the data that was numeric. It works on a numeric data. It doesn't work on a string. So we have here penetration range and caliber. And it auto scales uh, the vertical axis for the uh, biggest um, values of this data. So it's using auto scaling for the axis actually. And here we have the labels, which is the first, uh, basically the first uh, column from the database. And those are obviously strings. So let's uh, basically edit that because we don't want here, we don't want range and we don't want caliber. We want to only show the penetration value. So we go 12 because it was home. 5 is for display, 12 is for home, 11 is for edit, for print and so on. You probably already know this. And now um, we want to go for a data entry and import to enter data entry and initialization. I think it's option one. And now this is actually allowing us to uh, change the data. So 
it's not what we're looking for we go for option two and here if we enter it this is the order of the data that we are displaying this is the, uh, the those are the numbers of the corresponding lines of corresponding bars that we are displaying and those are the labels we may edit them if we want to so uh, i will be uh, removing the caliber so to do this input dot in here next field we don't want range so i input dot here we want penetration so we leave it and we don't want here and now we have excluded that and i will maybe change that to rha pen to make it more obvious and i'm pressing pressing enter and now you can see that this green data will be displayed enter once again and let's see how the charts look now five for display and this is the chart that we're seeing now it shows the legend for the rh penetration it also scales the axis and it shows all the bars so what else can we do with this thing we may in example add the grid lines which gonna help us to basically see the more precise values of those bars so we go home and we go axis options i guess for four and we go uh, i guess grid lines six option six and do we want the grid lines no we don't do the want them on x axis we don't want we want them on a y axis which is vertical so we press pf6 as you can see on the bottom and now we have y grid lines we want the grid lines and we want to edit them so we press enter and you can see the colors there are actually actually more than mm, those uh, nine colors that you can see here and uh, line type let's say we want dotted line line with let's say we want normal and uh, the color i think i go for a turkish line so let's go five but we may actually specify you know, more colors than this so in example we may go to settings of the colors and here you have the graphic colors and those are all the colors that the terminal may display so if we want to in example gray lines so it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, thirteen fourteen uh, 15 so the gray is gonna be color number 15 because that's how it's mapped in the terminal so let's go 15 for a gray line and enter and enter once again and now five for display and we can see the gray lines over here so what else can we do here we can uh, in example uh, add some uh, uh, in example title or heading so let's go five legend and layout so let's say chart heading and eastern block uh, apf sdst ammo rha penetration estimation change the color character size let's say if we want to change it color let's make it turquoise the five same thing like previously can make it any color that's supported by our terminal character mode i guess i gonna leave it symbol set name we don't change this and maybe let's make those uh, uh, characters a bit bi bigger so let's go 1.4 it's gonna scale it up a little bit and what else can we see here we got heading and axis position let's say we want to remove the legend because we have only one value which is the penetration so we're gonna be removing a legend so input no remove the legend enter and that's our graph now you can see that we have the 
heading, we have the values and we have the grid lines. So maybe we want to adjust some scaling because this is auto ranging obviously. And let's say the worst one, which is the old BM9, which is still penetrator with all full performance. No wonder why they use it for export only from what I heard. Uh, it's about 260 or something like that. So let's change the lower scale to 200. And to do this, we go obviously home again. And I think it could be the axis option. I don't really remember which one was that. And uh, scale and range is option three. And here we can see linear scale range of axis from and to. And let's say we want uh, the maximum value to be aut automatic, but let's say we want it from 200. So press enter, include zero in range. I guess no, because we go from 200. And uh, let's see how it looks now. And as you can see now, it goes from 200 to 800, and this is slightly above 800. I think 110 or something like this. And now it looks like this thing. So let's go further and add some extra labels here. Not the labels that are generated from a DB2 data, but some free text that we can input anywhere. Let's input steel right here on this BM9 to show that this is a steel projectile. So we're gonna go 12, F12 or PF12 and uh, 3 which is for a chart notes and here we go still and we can go I guess uh, PF6 to show the attributes here we can se select the color the mode I'm not sure no, I'm not sure what the mode is we got blanked outlined reference point Horizon, horizontal type and vertical type. Let's leave it as it is now and input enter and now input enter and PF5 for display. And the thing is that it's uh, positioned somewhere in a random place. So how to move it is very easy. We go for PF12, 11, sorry, PF11 for edit and we got this uh, cursor now on the screen and we say we select this using mouse and reposition it here or maybe a bit to the left and now it's looking quite good so we can get out of this and we can in example adjust the height the width the size and various stuff maybe we can adjust the size so we go pf7 let's make it a bit larger and let's select this and a bit larger oh it's actually too big so let's i guess make it smaller oh it's actually quite good now and we to get out of this i guess we go home or end i'm not sure oh no i guess oh we go five and it's fi it's fine now so now we have this free label that we have input there and this is our graph now let's do something different we're gonna exit of this or maybe we can also go save and load and here is the menu that you can use for to save this chart and then you can load it so here we have option load from a file reset to initial default save in a file list files to pick or delete all of this stuff so you can you can save this and then recall it we won't be, we won't be doing this today what i want to do is i want to exit out of this which is oddly pf9 times 12 and we'll be making another chart so probably we're gonna use the same chart but instead we're gonna make a pie chart with just bm59 and bm60 and compare their penetration values so bm59 is as you can see depleted uranium and uh, this is tungsten so uh, 
you can see that it won't fit in a T72 autoloader by the way and we go chart again and it shows the default chart so what's we going what we gonna do now we go pf12 we go uh, i guess we first go data entry and import and option 2 again and we also will be using the penetration value so let's go dot dot and dot and i guess i want to delete uh, the other the data that we don't want so we want only bm59 and bm60 so we're gonna delete bm9 and delete all of that stuff basically input d if you don't know uh, which uh, comments are for what actions you can see them on the bottom right here and now we have bm59 and bm60 let's say enter and uh, enter and now we go for a chart type option one and we want it to be a pie chart option five and chart i don't know oh, this is actually you can have multiple charts here so we're gonna be using just one chart today oh and maybe we want to de define it in more details so the data will be absolute uh, pi sizes absolute data only relate to total value i guess pi labels labels in elegant let's say shadow slices yes value attached to slices yes uh, sizes of pies uh, compared to maximum uh, i guess we can we can also have explode the slices if we want to let's we press enter here and uh, press 5 for a display and here we can see that we have bm60 and bm59 and this is the percentage data so this has um, like more penetration bm59 has more penetration than bm60 and this is because bm59 is tungsten and not um, deplated and bm60 is depleted uranium so we can see the comparison of those uh, penetration values and i guess this is gonna be it for today's demo i hope you like it if you have any questions regarding uh, qmf chart facility you can always add them in the comments and see you next time on a mainframe